Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for September the 26th. Today in 1580, Francis Drake arrived back in Plymouth on the Golden Hind. He had successfully circumnavigated the globe, the first English explorer to do so, on a journey that took 1,020 days. Drake had sailed into the Caribbean a few times on trading missions, and he had learned about how to navigate around the West Indies on these trips. So five ships set sail from Plymouth in 1577. The Golden Hind was renamed when the ship reached the Pacific and was actually the only one to come back, and 56 men made it home with him. The point of the journey wasn't originally to set sail around the world. It was simply to try to intercept some gold and jewels that the Spanish were removing from South America. Drake captured 26 tons of silver, half a ton of gold, thousands of coins, pieces of jewelry and jewels, and after he captured the goods, he couldn't go home the way he'd planned because the Spanish were waiting for him. So he moved up north, up the coast of present-day California, made it to Vancouver, trying to find the Northwest Passage. He wasn't successful, and so he had to turn even further west to Japan. He sailed across the Pacific Ocean, past the north coast of Australia, into Indonesia and the Spice Islands, where he actually got six tons of cloves, which were actually almost worth their weight in gold at this time. Then he went southwest, past India, around Africa. People in England were really surprised when he returned home, as he had long been assumed dead. The value of the goods that he brought back were worth over half a billion dollars, billion dollars, in today's money. He was nicknamed El Draco by the Spanish, and he was knighted. El Draco is the dragon, and he was knighted and became Sir Francis Drake. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.